Hey everybody, okay, so with the weather being a little bit better, I know some of you will maybe want to go outside a little bit, at least in your gardens and things like that. Um, so I thought, let's begin science outside. So hopefully you've got a little garden or you can maybe go out. So we're gonna be doing some of this experiment, at least the preparation inside your homes, and then we'll be taking it outside. Um, for those of you who may not have a garden, don't worry. Just just use your parents' bedroom. It'll be fine. <laughs> joking, joking. Please don't. Uh, so, yes, we are going to be making um, giant, huge, massive, ginormous bubbles. Um, this is something that I have done before. Um, my daughter, thankfully, is um, a fantastic guinea pig and loves these things. Um, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to make the the formula, the solution. And then what I will do is um, I will step by step show you how to make the, the stick. Now we actually um, had two versions. We had bought one of these um, sticks with the cotton rope when we were in, what shop was it? It was some toy shop somewhere, I can't remember. Um, it's in the center. Harley's? Is it Harley's or Barley's? I can't remember. This huge toy shop. Um, and But the solution ran out really fast. You know, it's like they gave you a bit of solution. It was okay. It wasn't great. But, you know, you, you use it really, really quickly and it just disappears. So what I did was um, I researched, obviously, how to make it. I got the ingredients. I've made it as simple as possible. It's all stuff um, that you should be able to find in your home, if not you know, one or two things you might have to get at the shops, but not much. Also, it will be, as I said, there'll be two parts, making the solution, um, making the sticks, and there'll be a few things you'll be able to use for our next science lesson in a week's time. So, without further ado, let's have a look. Now, you're going to need, okay, you will definitely, definitely need a bowl or a bucket a bucket would probably be better but i have this big glass bowl as large as possible um as i said you don't you don't really need to have the bowl um it was just something that i had to hand and i could use quickly you will also need a 500 ml juice bottle so it could be like coca-cola bottle or any 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 drinks bottle really just to have beside you and ready um with a lid on so you're not going to spill Go another side make remember too much of a mess and um, you will need something called um lubricant ask mums and dads about that um right. you will also need washy right. up liquid in here. the uk and um, we usually call it fairy liquid okay. here it's Go. called jar and um, we also have that was a big sieve, Try again. which which i which i didn't really use to be honest but it could be helpful because these sieves when you're cooking and making things they they make everything <gasps> very smooth they take the bumps and things out of flour and liquids like and that? then of course a great big teaspoon or tablespoon will be very handy as well. Try and do it a All little right. bit more. We're not gonna we're not gonna go too much into measuring at the moment because I would like this to be um, a fun thing for all the classes to do. <gasps> and if we talk about Ooh! mills and milliliters and liters and that? measurements, it'll get uh -huh. it'll get a little bit tough and a bit slow. So we're gonna go for you know bottles <gasps> and spoons. That's that basically big. what we're that gonna talk big. about when we talk about measuring. Huge now a teaspoon is the small one. Yeah, a tablespoon is the big one. That's an important Ready? one you should remember. Teaspoon, small for tea. Tablespoon is big. It goes on the table. We use it for eating soup and things, yeah? Um, or pudding. Yeah, desserts. Okay. So, once you have everything, okay, once you have everything, um, take a deep breath and watch this. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, grandma shark, do 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 do. Grandma shark, do 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 do. Shock, do 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 do, Grandpa. Shock. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you want to be using um, about a quarter, okay, of this big bottle of washi up liquid of jar. So quarters, obviously, that means that we are using it in, you know, what one in four. So if you can maybe you can maybe mark the area or use your spoon and just kind of judge where you could put it one bit, two bit, three bits, four bits. Okay, so in fours and we only need one one quarter is what we need so scoosh it in have a look not quite there nearly a little bit more there we go that's not too bad okay so once you got that you've used about a quarter of your bottle you can put that away don't need that anymore um then what we need is just a full i would say a full teaspoon of um our lubricant this is this is an important one we do need this teaspoon um of lubricant it it makes the it makes the bubble bill to expand more you know um and that's that's quite important and something i didn't mention before although the picture was there was the baking powder we do need to have the baking powder because the baking powder also helps the expansion and makes the bubble stronger. Because obviously, if we understand, you know, the bubble gets bigger and bigger, so it gets heavier and heavier. There's more water, there's more stuff in the bubble, um, and we need to make sure that the bubbles are strong. So we use the lubricant and we use the baking powder to make the bubbles strong so they can get really, really big. That's how we do it. And as you can see, you know, uh, it's a really big, you know, teaspoonful um, or like a normal tablespoon if you're not using a teaspoon. And then we put that in and what we do is we then mix it up, mix, 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 mix. Um, and that's an important one. We have to be mixing it loads and loads and loads. There we go. Make sure it's all in there together. Um, and then what we put in one sachet of the baking powder. Okay, so one sachet do is we add the water and the water is important because we should only add you know one one bottle of this 500 mils of water um this coca-cola bottle if it's not enough that's okay because we can add a little bit more but if we add too much water that makes things difficult because then we have to add more of the washing up liquid more of the lubricant more of the baking powder so don't use too much water yeah if you find that you know it's it it, it just you know it, it doesn't seem the same as the as the video, you know you can add more later. Don't worry about that. Just don't use too much water. Okay, um, right. So once we've mixed everything up together, but before water, what we do is we I think most of you will have one of these smaller um, bubble makers. These are really good to test your solution, so you can dip it in blow it and if it makes a good bubble that's a good sign that it that it's working that it's actually that it's that it's doing well okay so once you've tested that um fantastic if you've made the bubble if it's blowing then that gives you a good idea that the solution um is it is quite good now you may have to add a little bit more baking powder you may have to add a little bit more lubricant i know um however what we should do next is make our rope wand or our bubble wand now there are two versions of the rope wand you can make i'm only going to show you how to make one of them because it works perfectly for our weekly craft because you can make it beautiful it's very easy um, because you can just find the things in home at your homes like most homes will have exactly what you need the other one the big rope one um, that I use in the video um, that's a little bit harder to make you might need mums and dads help uh, so I thought we would do the pretty one um, for our crafts and then hopefully we can get some videos and things like that from you guys and we can see how it all went so to make your big bubble wand please go over to our craft activity um, and have a look to see how to make that all right guys good luck i'm looking forward to the videos i'm looking forward to talk about this in our in our live lessons um yeah 
have a have a great time doing all this bye bye